Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. We will start first of all with the base. So as you see here we need a rectangle with the dimensions 98 and 113. Moreover we will have here a height of 11 units. So let's get started. Keep it in mind those dimensions. I will write now rectangle starting from a random point. The first dimension 113 and the other one it will be 98 units. Let's press the home button for a 3D look and now I will apply the press pull command with 11 units. Good. The next step. We will build here a rectangle starting from this corner or this one, it doesn't matter, with a height of 100 minus 11 units. So we will have here a length of 89 units. Rectangle starting from this point. And as you see, I need another plan. So I'll go with the front. I'll go with Tools, New UCS, and View. Now I have X, Y axis. Let's go back. Rectangle. The first dimension, it will be 113, tab 89. Good. We need here another line. So let's assume, because we don't know exactly this little distance, we will assume it will be half of this distance. So that means eight. So we need to construct first of all two lines here with eight units and here a line of 38 units. And then we will build a polyline. So line, first of all, make sure you have the ortho command active. It's very important. Otherwise it will not be the good plan. So from this point, eight units and let's say I will continue to draw so deactivate the ortho command until the middle let's say it doesn't matter we will change it after that line from this point activate again and write 38 units select this line and select the previous line and try to match them okay and now I will construct a polyline to have an entire section. So press PL, enter. Until here. Now let's delete this, the first rectangle. And let's select the other lines. And press J from join command. And as you see now I, now I have an entire section. Let's apply the press pull command again with 11 units. Good. The next step, we have here another section and it has the height 63. 63 minus 11, that means 52 units. So the height is 52. The plan is good. So again, rectangle starting from this corner. If you cannot find the exactly point, press shift and right click and find endpoint. I'll write 113 and the other dimension, it will be 52. Inside we have a circle right here on a distance of 25 here and 25 on the other side as well so we will build basically another rectangle with the same dimensions 25 and 25 and at the other corner it will be our circle with the diameter of 38 so keep it in mind 25 25 and 38 rectangle from this point 25 tab 25 and now circle command, select this corner, press D from diameter and write 38. Now we can delete this one, delete, and we have here a slightly radius, so a radius of 25. For this one we will apply fillet, air from radius and 25. Let's apply again the press pull command with the same dimension. So 11, select the corner, 11. 
Now we have also this little hole inside. So select the circle and just make a hole. Let's have a short look now to be sure that everything is fine. Shade it with edges and here it is. Let's focus now on the last two parts. So let's change it again into 2D wireframe for, for a clear vision. The next step it will be this rectangle again. So this rectangle starting from this wall until the next wall and it has a height of 16. This dimension we will assume that is 38. So let's change the plan again. So I will go at back, tools, new UCS and view. Let's start now to construct a so rectangle. Shift right click endpoint. Okay. The first dimension it will be 38, and the other one it will be 76. Press pull with 16 units. And from the last part, it's the easiest one, I think. We will build a polyline starting with these points with the dimensions 100 minus 16 minus 11. So that means a length of 73 units. Then here we have 75 and here we have 76 and we will go up with 63 minus 27 again. So that means 36 units. So let's get started. Let's select first of all the left plan. I need X, Y axis here. So I'll go tools, new UCS again and view. I will apply now a polyline. So press PL. The first dimension 73. The other one 76. Let's go up with 36 and back from the starting point. Let's apply now the press pull command with 11 units and now let's just move it so select it and from move command select this corner and let's drag it until this point shift right click and point and our drawing now it's complete let's have a final look For the last extra step, let's go with the union command. So union, select the whole drawing, enter, select the drawing, move command, and delete the extra lines. And here we have it. I hope this video helped you. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.